So this is another amazing deadly tool from China. It's an analog multimeter or multitester. It has an analog scale, a range switch and probes. And there's the manual. But because I'm still not very good at Chinese, let's skip it. And voila, there's a schematic. So here we have the tiny little probes with super thin cables and those connectors. And this is the multimeter with several ranges. There are ohms, milliamps DC and volts AC and DC. And DC and AC have 10 volts range, 50 volts range, 250 volts and 1000 volts. Really? This is really supposed to handle 1000 volts AC and DC because 1000 volts it's a really serious thing, it's really not fun. That's a little bit dodgy. So I'm not sure about safety of this device, especially if you take a look at those probes. So those tiny little probes with those super thin cables and those Questionable plugs. I have to handle 1000 volts. That's amazing. There's the negative, positive, you just stick it in. Take those thin cables with so tiny probes and stick it into 1000 volts AC or DC. It just doesn't feel right. And they come out very easily. You can pull this out at any time. And this is very long. It can actually stick out and expose the life part. Or you can accidentally pull it out and it can touch your skin while you are sticking it into 1000 volts basically. And to be able to measure the resistances you have to put a battery into it. There are some milliamps and there are volts AC. So let's set it to 250 volts AC. And let's plug it into mains. And hopefully this is not gonna explode. And it shows something. And that's about 230 or 235 volts. It seemed to work somehow. And a 9 volt battery. It's fresh, it has about 9.5 volts. And this little thing is going to show, okay, that may be about 9.5. And let's try to measure currents. I will use this 9 volt battery and this resistor, it is 270 ohms, red, violet, brown. And the current will be I equals U over R and this is 9.5 volts divided by 270 ohms and this is 0 0.035 amps or 35 milliamps. And it really is about 35. So it seems to work. And strangely there is a rusty spot on the scale. Okay, to be able to measure resistances I will have to put a battery into it. So let's open it up. And there is one screw and the screw is completely rusty. That's interesting. So let's open it up. And there's the space for the battery. The battery somehow doesn't fit into it. The battery is just a little bit too long for it or the space for the battery is a little bit too short. I really have to squeeze the battery into it and the plastic is just bending on both sides. That's a really poor design. There's the calibration pot for the resistor measurement. And a board. Let's try to measure some resistor. And then we will take it to bits. I probably have to calibrate it using this potentiometer. 
so I set it to zero and try to measure the resistor and it shows about two and this is times 100 so it shows about 200 ohms that's very roughly it when I use times 10 it will show about 30 times 10 so it shows about 300 ohms okay that somewhat works about plus minus 20 or more percent and let's take it to bits so there's the battery in this one there's an analog meter here you can see it and there's a board with three screws okay and that's the board there's not much of it there are two tiny glass diodes and several resistors in it very tiny resistors actually and the rotary switch and there's the calibration potentiometer with its knob and those tiny SMD resistors are really supposed to handle 1000 volts AC and DC? Are you kidding me? It must be a joke. But it really says 1000 volts. Those just can't be rated for this. So let's take a look at the schematic. And basically the voltage ranges are being switched by switching those resistors in series. And for the highest range, 1000 volts, you have this 1.5 mega ohm resistor. So let's take a look at the design of the voltmeter. You are basically switching the resistors in series. For the lowest range you have just one resistor. And for each higher range you are adding one resistor. And for the highest range you have all resistors in series. So the 1000 volt range has 2 mega ohm internal resistance. 250 volt range has 500k resistance, 50 volt range has 100k resistance and 10 volts range has 20k resistance. And all ranges draw 500 microamps full scale. And this is how the voltage is being divided when it's connected to 1000 volts. So this resistor has 750 volts on it, this one has 200 volts on it, this one has 40 volts on it and 10 volts remains for this resistor and the meter. And this resistor will have the highest voltage on it. It is 3 quarters of the input voltage and at the full scale it is 750 volts. So this resistor has to handle 750 volts. And it's this resistor 155. It's 1, 5 and 5 zeros in ohms. And that's 1.5 mega ohms. And this tiny SMD resistor will have 750 volts on it. The designers must be completely mad. And take a look at the spacing of those tracks on the board. This is one terminal and there is another terminal. It goes here. And this is the spacing in between of them. It's like half millimeter spacing for 1000 volts AC. That's 1400 volts peak value. So this really handles the full input voltage. You must be kidding me. And of course there is absolutely no fuse in it. So if you really want to use this one, use it only for safe voltages. Because those tiny probes, very thin cables, very questionable plugs, the board with no fuse, a very tiny spacing and very tiny resistors handling the input voltage they're just horrible design. Definitely don't use this one for dangerous voltages and high currents. And about 15 years ago I have bought the same multimeter as this one. 
and it was the same design except the resistors were the classic through hole ones so this new one is even worse than the 15 years old one and I will try to find the old one because I think I still have it somewhere and I wonder what happens when you really plug this into 1000 volts AC and I will try the old one first and then I can try this new one and this is the second piece of the multimeter I have, the older one so let's make the 1000 volts test set it to 1000 volts AC because it really should be rated for 1000 volts AC as the Chinese people say let's connect it to a microwave oven transformer through a big variac and crank it up to 1000 volts it's going up we are at about 400 volts 800 and now it's about 1000 still nothing is going wrong and after about 15 minutes still no flames that's a bit disappointing I was really hoping for some explosion, smoke, fire and so there isn't even anything carbonized inside ok let's see what happens if you accidentally stick it into a full voltage at a lower range because a good multimeter should be protected against this let's set it to 250 volts that seems ok let's try 50 volts it's vibrating now it's showing something completely wrong and I can see a smoke coming from it a lot of smoke actually lots of smoke are coming from it and now it's showing just 20 volts and smoking let's take a look inside and double check it's really off yeah it is off wow a lot of smoke is coming out and take a look at the board it's just completely burned so this is definitely not protected power it up once more wow that's nice and that's the rotary switch from the other side of the board and because this video is probably already getting a little bit too long I will make a high voltage test of this new one in another video so this is Diode Gone Wild and see you in my next videos